Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN InfoTech Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create outline drawing from photo in Microsoft Word. So the first step is to save the file in compatibility mode if you are using 2010 or higher versions. This helps you use the classic features of Microsoft Word. Next, insert the image that you want to trace. I downloaded this image from pixabay.com. Generally, any outline drawing can be drawn with straight lines, curves and dots. Whether you draw manually or on the computer, the process is almost the same. Now coming to Microsoft Word, I recommend two particular tools for this purpose. The first one is the freeform tool which can be used to create straight lines and the second one is curve tool which can be used to create curved segments. Now the big question is where to start the tracing process. Well, you can start from a spot where two or more lines meet at a single point. Let us call that point as a junction or an intersection. Before I show you the tracing process, let me show you how to use freeform and curve tools. Freeform tool can be used to create straight lines as well as irregular shapes. Continuous clicking and dragging the mouse with the freeform tool creates irregular patterns. Various non-continuous clicks creates straight lines. Like if you make a single click, leave and move the mouse at a different place and make another click, a straight line is created. You can continue this process to create straight lines. Now to stop the line tool from drawing, press the enter or the escape key on your keyboard. In case of a curved tool, clicking and dragging does nothing, but non-continuous single clicks creates continuous curves. Same rule applies with this tool as well. That is, you will need to press the enter or the escape key on your keyboard to stop the curve tool from drawing. Now, before you start the tracing process, you will need to do one more setting. That is, you will need to set a different color for the tracing line so that it is easily differentiatable from the actual image. To do that, roughly draw a line, then change the outline color. In my case, I am going to select red color. After that, right click on the line and select set auto shape defaults. What this does is, it changes the default line color. This helps reduce the laborious task of changing the line color again and again. Now let us start the tracing process. Ok, now let us start the tracing process. As I suggested before, I shall start the drawing from this junction. Using the freeform tool, I will make the first click at this point here and I shall make the second click here and press the enter key to stop. Now from this point I shall use the curve tool and make few clicks to draw the curve. At some point if you have gone wrong you can press the backspace to step back and redraw again properly. After that press the enter key at a junction or intersection and stop the drawing process. Now to fine tune the curve or freeform line you can use the edit points feature. This option helps reposition the nodes and alter the curves using the additional handles. Now at this stage I would like to give few smart tips. Always try to trace nearly perfect at the first time itself. This helps fasten the tracing time. Always save your work every 2 minutes. Always zoom in before tracing at complex places which require more details for, in for instance this place on this image has more details and hence requires to zoom in and work closely. Now at this point I would like to stop my advice and speech as most of you don't like it. Hence I shall fast forward the drawing process from here so closely observe and learn the tracing techniques.
Okay guys, after a lot of hard work, I have finished the tracing process. Now I shall delete the image and group all the lines together and change the outline color. Now at this stage, I can resize the image as I wish. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you all in my next video with another awesome content. Until then, it's bye from hbninfotech.com.